Hey everyone, welcome to what I guess we're going to call part 6 of this lefty guitar conversion. The guitar is already completed and I've been playing it for a week or so and I've got a couple of updates and a couple things that I still need to do to this after playing it for a little while. The guitar plays really well, I'm really happy with it, especially for an inexpensive guitar like this one is. I guess that goes to show the importance of a good setup. One thing that I need to do to the guitar is install side marker dots on the side of the neck. They're on the right side of the guitar, but since I'm playing this guitar upside down, I can't see those. And sometimes they do come in quite handy. So I need to find the stock for that and drill and glue those into there. I'll do a video on that when I get the stock. One final piece that I'm going to install on this guitar is a set of good strap locks. These are a Fender brand strap lock. They're very similar to the Schaller brand. In fact, they may even be the same thing with just Fender name on it. I'm not really sure of that. These are great. I have these on all of my electric guitars. The installation is really simple. You just unscrew the factory strap button. The new ones come with a new strap button, a screw, and two different colored felt washers to protect the finish. We're going to use the black ones. And then you just screw it back on. And we'll do the same for the other strap button. In the set of strap locks, you have the locking part, a washer, and a nut. So all you need to do to install these is you take the clip, put it through the guitar side of the strap, put the washer on, and I've learned from experience, put a little drop of Loctite on there, because these nuts tend to want to come loose on you. And I've not had much luck finding just a replacement nut for these. I've had to buy a whole nother set just to replace a lost nut. We'll put the other side on. A little Loctite. And put the nut on. Snug it down with a 13 millimeter wrench. And you're good to go. So the way these work is you have the button that has this groove on here. And then you have the, the clip, which also has a little nub in there that's spring loaded and engages into this groove. So all you do to put it on, snap it into place. And now your strap can't come off. To release it, you just pull this button out and it pops right off. Now you don't lose your strap. So there, I feel a lot better now having these strap locks on here. I'm not worried about the guitar strap flying off and my guitar hitting the floor. So I've had some people ask me about some of the parts that I used on this guitar and kind of where I found them and stuff. A lot of them I ordered right off of eBay. I ordered the jack plate, the switchcraft jack, the nut, and the string trees right off of eBay. I just kept searching on there and found a place with a really good price. The pickup I ordered online uh, from a company I've never ordered from, uh, and I've I gotta give them props. I ordered it from Sweetwater Music. That place blew me away. The pickup originally I ordered from a different mail order catalog, um, a place that I've done business with before, and it was back ordered for weeks. Well, I, I went on Sweetwater's website just to see if they had it in stock. They had it in stock. So I canceled my order with the other place ordered it from Sweetwater and what totally blew me away is their level of customer service and I'm going to I got to give them a shout out. They're not I'm not endorsed by them. They're not sponsoring me or anything like that, but I'll tell you what. I placed that order. An hour or so later, I got a call from the customer service rep there thanking me for the order, saying it was processed and it's going to get shipped. And so he called me, left me a message. I got the confirmation email that you normally get. Then when I received my order, two days earlier than what he said I would receive it, they put candy in there. I mean, they open the box, there's candy inside the box along with my pickup. How cool is that? So, and then just a couple of days later, after I received it, I get another phone call and an email from the same customer service rep 
just checking in, making sure I got everything, making sure everything was okay. You don't see that kind of customer service anywhere anymore. It just blew me away. I will definitely be a repeat customer. That's for sure. Everything else I ordered from a company called Dragonfire Guitars. And I found them on eBay as well, but I, I didn't order them on eBay. I ordered from right from their website. I ordered the pit guard, the back plate cover, the, the volume pot, and a couple other little pieces. Um, I ordered right from them and they seem like a really good place. I've never heard of them before until this build, but I think I'll definitely be ordering some more parts from them. Pit guards and things. They've got a ton of a ton of different pit guards to choose from. A lot of different styles, colors, finishes. Uh, so it's kind of cool to look at all this stuff they have there. So that's kind of some of the vendors that I bought this stuff from. Sourced all the parts. Um, I just shopped around online and you know tried to find some good deals. Um, I didn't want to spend a ton of money. I, you know the most I spent was on the pickup. It's the only piece that that I was really concerned about and I really wanted a good pickup in there. The thing sounds really good, it plays really nice, and uh, I'm gonna do another one. I uh, recently just found another strap, a right-handed strap for uh, a really low price, and I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet, but I'm gonna convert it, probably be some of the same parts used in that, and uh, I'm not gonna rush into that though, I'm just gonna hang on to it, figure out what I wanna do. Um, if you guys, there's something you wanna see, Something you think that would be cool, maybe some colors or something you want to, you know, you'd like to see me try out. Let me know. Leave a comment on this video, and let me know kind of what you'd like to see. Maybe pickups. I got in. I got a pickup in mind that I want to try, um, that I'm really kind of set on. But I, I don't have to go with that one. I'm not going to give it away just yet. Also, one last thing. Got some little uh, uh, project boxes in the mail today. I need to build a couple of little pedals. So if you want to see that. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on any of that. That about wraps up this build on this guitar. And uh, thanks for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything that I got coming up. And we'll catch you later. Thanks for watching.